Hello and welcome to the new Power Query tutorial video. And in this query, uh, Power Query tutorial video, I want to show you how you can basically keep or remove rows. What it means is basically if you have a huge data and you just want to test the data or you want to keep only some selected rows, then you can keep it from the top of the data set or bottom of the data set, right? So that is a very quick functionality. I want to show you if this is something which very quickly you want to reduce your data set. We just remove that. Okay. And before I show you a quick information about a Google spreadsheet where I maintain my uh, Power BI videos. So this is where I maintain all of my Power BI related videos where the link is present in the description here. I keep an inventory as you can see of all of my videos. The title is present in column A and using the link which is present in column b you can jump to that video so that you can very easily find all of my videos without having to scroll through a huge list of page that way you can um, bookmark this page and whenever you need anything some calculation dashboard tutorial you can always come here or you can even create your own learning path and the data set that i am using so this is a data set link which i give and over here i have the power bi related uh, section and in that this is the data set that I am using. Okay, so coming back to the Power BI and in Power BI, first let's go into the Power Query by clicking on the transform data and this will open up this Power Query window where we can click on the new source and get the source. So I have an Excel workbook so I can click either here. Since I have been using it, I can come on to the recent source as well and it will show it from here. So for some reasons while recording it does not show this properly as you can see it it just hide this so i can go here on new source click on the excel workbook and go to that excel location where it is present so this is the superstore sales for power bi that i am using in my data set and it will take just few seconds and i need the sheet one from the spreadsheet and i'll click ok and it will going to display the data in couple of seconds where i can evaluate my data set and this is my data set here is my column so it has a lot of rows so you can see over here 999 plus rows is what i am having column profiling based on the uh, thousand rows so what i am aware about this data set is that it has around 10,000 rows based on that only top thousand rows are shown just for the preview perspective and all the column data sets sorry the data type is decided based on the first uh, thousand rows so based on the column column profiling right so on that um, now uh, you know the next thing is about keeping rows so out of these 10,000 rows right if I need everything I will simply say close and apply and it will load all the 10,000 rows into the system so let me just do that very quickly so what it does is it will open up a window where it will show you the number of rows uh, how much it is loading and I think I did, it is the number of rows or the data, yeah, the data set size. So 9,994 rows, right? So that's what I told you around 10,000 rows. So let me go back and say, I know I don't need 9,000 rows. Maybe in this, this is a small data set, but if you have 1 million rows, so it will going to take a lot of time. You don't want 1 million rows. Let's say you want only 5,000 rows because with that you can work on a proof of concept, right? So simply what you can do is you can come over here and keep rows. In the keep rows, you have that couple of options. So keep top rows. How many top rows you want? If you want 100 top rows, 500 top rows, 5000 top rows, you can specify. So what it will do, it will select the top rows based on how it has loaded. Similarly, you have the bottom rows. Let's say you want uh, 500 bottom rows, 5000 bottom rows, you just specify and it will give you the output. Also, it has the keep range of rows, first row, number of rows. So you can define what is your first row. Let's say first row is starting from 100 and number of rows you need is let's say 1000. So it will go to the 100th row, right? Start from there and give you only 1000 rows, right? Let's say for first 100 rows, the data is all messed up. You want only after 100 rows. So that way, you can basically utilize this function and these two functions are related to you know columns like if you want to keep the uh, duplicate values you want to keep the errors that way same way you have the uh, option of removing top rows let's say you want you have uh, 
first few rows, first five rows where name of the data set or some information is present which you never want. So you can remove this by specifying number of top rows you want to remove. Same way you have remove bottom rows, remove alternate rows where based on the option you can specify if you want to remove the number of bottom rows or you want to remove alternate rows. So this is a functionality rather than you basically go and uh, remove it one by one or specify some custom code you have the option. Also you have the option to remove the duplicates. Remove the rows containing duplicate values right. So for example let's say uh, you want to remove the customer id which are duplicate you select this, come over here and remove and remove duplicates. You have the option of removing the blank values. If from customer ID any value is blank, you can remove the blank row or remove the errors, right? So that is what I have. So for the for this video, I want to keep only top 2000 rows, which is at the bottom. Let's say if that is the example I'm going with. Keep first rows is the step that has been created. You can click over here. It will also show you what step number you have specified and you click close and apply so what it does it will only then get you 2000 rows and your data set will be only with limited number of rows so that's the benefit or that's the you know uh, great way of how you can basically keep only the limited number of rows in your data set and then work with that limited data to develop the proof of concept once your proof of concept is completed, you can load all the rows by simply again going back there and uh, removing this step. Removing this step will actually going to give you all the 9000 plus or around 10,000 rows in your data set. So that is what I wanted to show you how you can keep the uh, rows from how you can keep the rows in the data set and uh, let me decide how to. With that, Thank you so much and I will meet you in the next video with a new topic.